Hello everyone. In this video, we will explore the main mechanisms of evolution. These mechanisms include natural selection, genetic drift, and genetic flow, sexual selection, and artificial selection. Natural selection is the process through which species adapts to their environment. It is the engine that drives evolution. There are three mechanisms in natural selection. Trait variation, such as height, eye color, or hair color. Trait heritability, which means that these traits should be receivable from parents to offspring. And differential reproduction. Because there are limited resources, a species must pass down beneficial traits to their offspring that will benefit them for survival. The following is an example of natural selection. Hopi Hoekstra studied old field mice and observed a difference in pigmentation of mice. The Agouti MC1R genes encode receptors that are responsible for pigmentation. Mice that were near sandy beaches that expressed darker pigmentation would quickly become food for predators. Mice that lived inland but had lighter pigmentation were also exposed to predators. Through differential reproduction, mice eventually developed the correct pigmentation based on their environment. The lighter colored mice lived near and on beaches. The darker colored mice lived more inland with darker vegetation. Another method of evolution is genetic drift. In genetic drift, random events determine what alleles are passed on to the next generation of offspring. Since genes are selected randomly rather than the result of selective pressures, genetic drift could lead to a loss of genetic variation and an increase in harmful alleles. Since smaller populations tend to lose genetic variation more rapidly than larger populations, they are affected the most by genetic drift. A great example of genetic drift affecting the genetic variation of a population are elephant seals. In the 19th century, elephant seals were hunted to near extinction. Although the size of the population has recovered well since their extinction, the lack of genetic variation created by the event makes the population at a high risk of susceptibility to disease. The next mechanism of evolution is gene flow. Gene flow is the movement of genes into or out of a population. Gene flow typically occurs when a member of one population migrates toward and reproduces with a different population. Gene flow is especially prevalent in flowering plants as their pollen is often spread to members of a different population during pollination. The next idea is sexual selection, which was once proposed by Darwin. As he puts it, this depends on the advantage which certain individuals have over other individuals of the same sex and species in exclusive relation to reproduction. Darwin focused on two big themes in his book, The Descendant of Men, why sexual selection happens in the first place and why sexual selection is strong in some lineage but not other. While sexual selections happen because it is a mode of natural selection in which members of one biological sex chooses a mate, whether it be intersexual or intersexual. Intrasexual is between sex, occurs when members of the same sex, i.e. males, compete for each other to gain access to mates with females. For example, males scar up beetles fighting with their elaborate horns to win the hearts of their future mate. Intersexual selection develops when one sex, typically males, display traits or behavior patterns to attract the opposite sex, basically meaning that females chooses their mate based on the things that make the male stand out. For example, the dancing bird using their beautiful choreographed dance to woo their mate. Why is sexual selection uh, so strong in some lineages but not others? Well, this comes down to female choice. Whichever mates they end up choosing is the cause of how strong their gene are passed down. The last mechanism of evolution we'll discuss is called artificial selection. Around 30,000 to 40,000 years ago, humans began domesticating wolves. In today's time, we call these animals dogs. This is an example of artificial evolution, or selective breeding, in which humans select for desired traits in animal or plant populations by breeding specific individuals with those traits. We have selectively bred dogs for millennia to generate the many dog breeds we have today. Artificial selection proves incredibly helpful for humans because it allows us to mold organisms to our needs. Agriculture is a great example of the benefits that artificial selection can yield. Artificial selection allows us to breed for certain shapes, colors, and sizes of fruit and vegetables. In fact, certain vegetables, such as broccoli, cauliflower, kale, and cabbage, would not even exist without humans selectively breeding them from the mustard plant. These are all some of the mechanisms that help drive evolution. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you learned something.